بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از ماریہ جہانگیر اینڈ آئی ایم فرام ڈپارٹمنٹ آف اپیرل اینڈ ٹیکسٹائل رانا لیاقت علی خان گورنمنٹ کالج آف ہوم اکنامکس کراچی ٹوڈے مائی ٹاپک از شاپنگ پریکٹس فار فسٹ ایئر دا آئیڈیا آف گوئنگ شاپنگ ساؤنڈ فن But have you ever spent a whole day running around from store to store and accomplishing nothing? The stores were crowded, your feet hurt, and nothing looked right. This happened because you omitted a very important step in the process of shopping, taking time to do some planning and preparation before you left home. Putting together a shopping plan requires time and thought. However, it will save your time and money later. Getting ready to shop. Firstly, you should decide what you plan to buy and where you plan to shop. Steps to follow for shopping. Make a list. Make a list of each item that you need to shop. Read newspaper and magazines ad for information about the availability of the items you need. Gather information of the estimated prices of the products you need to buy. Number your list in the order of priority. Arrange your list according to the location of the store to save your time and money. Go alone or with a family or friends. Some people shop best when they are by themselves. Their time is organized and they tend not to make impulsive buying. Other people shop better when they are with friends or relatives. Make sure that this person whose ideas you respect and who stays is similar to you. Go prepared. Plan ahead for the day you will go for shopping. Get your cooking and other household activities done a day ahead so that you are not too tired on the day of shopping. If you are planning to buy something to match an item, don't forget to carry a fabric or carry the item itself for matching. Carry a light snack and water. when to shop sometimes are better for shopping than others one should consider the amount of time you have the time of the day and whether there are any sales going on select the time to shop according to the weather avoid rush traffic and shopping hours select a time when you are not rushed so that you may compare prices and quality of product available in the market some items require trials like shoes ready made suit if you are rush you might get a wrong size where to shop there are many types of stores from which to choose they may differ in type of merchandise prices special services locations sales staff and reputation before you select a store you will need to consider several things consider what it is that you want to buy different stores carry different merchandise the amount of money you have available with influence the store you select stores known for their special sale and offering quality goods at lower price are good choices if your funds are limited the special services like free parking free delivery free wrapping of gift items or alteration of garments are also an attraction for choosing a particular store for purchase of goods The location of a store can also be a factor to choose a store. The type of sales staff of a store employees can influence where you decide to shop. 
you could select a store where employees are helpful and informative, who welcome your questions, help you find the just the right items you need, and assist you in making a wise selection and decision. The repetition of a store is important. Find out a store known for quality merchandise, fair return policy, and honest labeling. A good time to buy something you need is when it is on sale. Be aware of the store's policy on repairs, exchanges, and refunds before you buy. Types of stores. Consider what you want to buy, how much you can spend, and how far you need to travel before decide where to shop. Departmental stores. There are two advantages to shopping in departmental stores. They generally have the largest, most fashionable selection of clothing. They also have many services. Some offer free delivery, free alterations, charge accounts, and mail or telephone order services. Most department stores have a complaint department to respond to consumer needs. Due to the selection and services they offer, these stores usually have higher prices. Discount and variety stores. These stores carry a variety of name brand items at reduced prices. They keep their costs down by offering few services and they are located in low rent areas. These stores are not usually large and may be limited. Outlet stores. Outlet stores buy clothes at a low cost from manufacturers or other stores at the end of the season. Then they sell to customers at a lower price. Some outlet stores are operated by manufacturers themselves near the factory or warehouses. Specialty stores. Specialty stores are called boutiques and they usually sell one kind of item. The salesperson often gives more personal attention to each shopper. Usually they will um, special order garments in color, other styles, sizes that is not available in the stores. Online or mail orders. Catalog shopping are handy for those who wish to save time and petrol. However, delivery charges may be added to the cost of the merchandise. You can't try the product which you order from catalog. If it does not fit you, it may have to be returned. Returning takes time and it may cost you the delivery charges again. Use clothing sources. Some stores specialize in used clothing. People bring clothes they no longer want to the store. If the store manager sells the clothes, they give a percentage of prices to the owner. How to pay? There are two basic ways to pay for what you want to buy. Cash or credit. Paying cash is the least expensive way to buy. There is only one payment and no interest charge. The disadvantage is that you will have to carry cash. When you buy on credit, you promise to pay later. The disadvantage is that Credit usually costs extra in interest charges. Post shopping responsibilities. Most of us want a store to treat us right. We want helpful and informative staff and reasonable prices. We want to be able to exchange items when necessary. But if we expect fair treatment from stores, we have to be willing to be fair ourselves. We must be informed and thoughtful shoppers. Keep our bills safe for future references and for extent if required. Key points. In this topic, you covered the points shopping practice, 
important points consider when go to shopping that is make a list go alone or with a friends or family go prepared when to shop where to shop types of stores departmental stores outlet stores discount and variety stores specialty stores online and mail orders and other resources how to pay and post shopping responsibilities thank you